Are your shin splints hurting? Are you looking for shin splint exercises or stretches? Or maybe you're trying to recover after a painful bout of shin splints. Are you sick and tired of not being able to run like you want to? Can't even walk or go down a flight of stairs without wincing in pain? Can't play your favourite sport anymore? Well, in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you a seven-step system to help you fix your shin splints once and for all and get you back to pain-free running quickly and safely. Even if you've been suffering with shin splints for years, or they keep coming back after you thought you'd finally got rid of them. And this is not the same old set of exercises everyone else is trying to convince you that you need to do. In fact, keep watching and I'll show you why doing shin splint exercises in the early stages of your recovery is one of the worst things you can do. And by early stages, I mean that if you're in pain, no matter how long you've had the injury for, you're in the early stages of recovery. And if anyone tries to sell you a standard set of 20, 50 or 100 exercises for your shin splints, it's a dead giveaway. They don't know the first thing about soft tissue injury rehab. You see, when you have an injury like shin splints, your body goes through a very specific process to heal the damage. And the treatments you use in the early stages of rehab are very different to the treatments you use in the latter stages. Anyone who says to you, you just need to do these exercises and your shin splints will be gone in no time, doesn't know what they're talking about and are a real danger to your full recovery. But before we go on, let me ask you a question. How long have you been suffering with shin splints? Weeks? Months? Maybe even years? If you're like most of my clients, it's probably quite a long time. And let me guess, you feel like you've tried everything. Ice, heat creams and rubs, massage, strapping and tape, physical therapy, but that just caused more pain than it fixed, and I'll explain why that is in just a minute. Anti-inflammatory medication, maybe you've even tried cortisone, but that only worked for a month or two, right? You've probably even tried those silly one-size-fits-all page of exercises and stretches that you get from a chiropractor or physical therapist. The same page of exercises they give to the next person who walks through the door. The same page of exercises they've been handing out for the last five years. Please, these simple one-size-fits-all approaches nearly never work. And if they do, it's only a temporary fix. If you keep going down that track, you're going to be in the same position two months, six months, even 12 months from now, and your shins will be no better off than they are right now. And I know you're probably here looking for more exercises and stretches, but let me ask you, have the exercises you've been doing helped? Probably not, otherwise you wouldn't be here, right? Now, don't get me wrong, exercises and stretches are a very important part of your complete and thorough shin splints recovery. But if you try to do them too early in the rehab process, you'll do more harm than good. Remember when I said earlier that your body goes through a very specific process to heal your shin splints? Well, it's vitally important that you match the right treatment to the right phase of your recovery. Now, the seven-step system includes plenty of exercises. In fact, it has over 60 exercises and stretches that you'll use as part of your recovery. But the important thing is, you won't be doing them till you're really ready for them. Just to give you an idea, exercises aren't introduced until step six. That means you've got five steps to prepare your lower legs and shins properly before even thinking about exercises. And this is the foundation of your recovery. Miss any of the first five steps and all the exercises in the world won't make any difference. Think of it this way. If you broke your leg, you'd make sure the break was healed before you started doing exercises, right? So why would you start doing exercises before your shin splints have healed? Doing that is like trying to do exercises with a broken leg, thinking that somehow the exercises will heal the break. It just doesn't make sense. And this is why the first five steps are so important. 
We need to heal your injury first and then lay a foundation for your future recovery. Get the first five steps right and then the exercises are the easy part. Fixing your shin splints and more importantly making sure you never have a relapse is all about an integrated treatment plan that walks you step by step through the recovery process. And this is why so many other treatment options fail. They only focus on one or two treatment options and there's no emphasis on performing them in the correct order. You need an integrated treatment plan that focuses on the seven key steps for a complete shin splints recovery. Miss any one of these seven steps or get them in the wrong order and your chance of a full recovery is shot. And here's where this approach is different. Treatment is based on a seven step progressive plan of rehabilitation techniques and conditioning exercises, stretches and drills to fully rehabilitate your injured legs. Each step building on the previous one. And here's another thing that 90% of other treatment plans ignore. Your shins and lower leg don't work in isolation to the rest of your body. While the immediate injury may have occurred to your shins, a retraining of your entire body is necessary to rehabilitate and more importantly, prevent the injury from occurring again. I need to repeat that because it's so important. It's where 90% of recovery fails. Your shins and lower leg do not work in isolation to the rest of your body. In other words, for your shins and lower leg to function correctly, you need a stable core and hips. You need strong and well-balanced upper legs and buttocks and you need good range of motion through your entire back, hips and legs. You see what typically happens is someone will use maybe one or two treatment options. They'll start to feel better, maybe even feel like their shin splints are fixed and then out of the blue, their shin splints are back and they have to start all over again. I've seen this dozens of times and it's because they failed to complete the full seven step process. My goal isn't to just stop your shins from hurting, it's to make them stronger and healthier than they were before you injured them. Because let's face it, if all I can do is get you back to where you were before your shins started hurting, what good is that? The next time you put them under any sort of strain or pressure, you'll be back to where you started. And that's a frustrating, never-ending cycle I don't want you to go through. So. What's so special about this seven step system and why will it work where other treatment options have failed? Firstly, the seven step system is a fully integrated treatment plan, which means it treats your entire body, not just your shins. You see, often an injury in one area of your body is the result of a weakness, imbalance or problem in another area. For example, if you have a weak or unstable core, which are the muscles around your stomach and spine. This can put stress on your hips, knees, ankles, and your entire lower leg when performing even the simplest of movements. In the seven step system, you'll get all the treatment options you need for a complete and speedy recovery. You'll get everything you need to take you from pain and barely being able to walk to never having to worry about shin splints again. In step one, I'll show you a simple technique for cutting your immediate pain down substantially in less than an hour. And if your shin splints have just flared up again, or you're still in a lot of pain, this step is for you. Step two is all about fixing your biomechanical errors and becoming a better all-round runner. And let me assure you, if you don't address some of these fundamental issues now, you'll never have lasting relief from shin splints. Step three is where we lay the groundwork for your ongoing recovery. I'll show you how to use heat, massage, and a few other simple techniques to speed up your recovery and prepare your legs for the exercises you'll be doing a little later on. This is one of the most important stages in the seven step system. If you don't get this right, you're at risk of re-injury later on. In the first three steps, I also explain when to use ice and when to use heat. This is often confusing because there's so many conflicting opinions, but this is vital for your recovery. 
use ice when you should be using heat and you'll add weeks to your recovery. Or worse still, use heat when you should be using ice and you could do further damage to your already painful injury. In step four, you'll be retraining your nervous system. Now I know this may sound a little strange, but let me explain. Whenever you injure a muscle, you also damage the nerves that control and coordinate that muscle. So it's vitally important that you retrain your nervous system before moving on to exercises and stretches. In step five, you'll be doing some very gentle range of motion exercises for the large muscle groups in your legs. These stretches will help to loosen up your hips, lower back, buttocks and legs so you can do the more specific exercises to come. Up until now, you've been laying a foundation. But just like a house that's built on a shaky foundation, if you don't do steps one through five, you won't get the full benefit from all the exercises. Step six is where you'll be starting to work specifically on your lower legs and shins with a range of exercises and stretches to help strengthen and stabilize your entire lower body. And in step seven, you'll get more intense dynamic type exercises and stretches to get you running pain free again. Plus, I also cover diet, nutrition and supplements so you don't go wasting money on gimmicks and fads that don't work. So there you have it, a simple seven step system for fixing your shin splints once and for all and you getting you back to pain free running quickly and safely. Now, you may be wondering, who is this guy and what makes him so qualified to offer this seven step system? And that's a fair question. You need to know that I'm the real deal and I've got what it takes to help you fix your shin splints. My name is Brad Walker. I'm a health science graduate of the University of New England with postgraduate accreditations in athletics, swimming and triathlon coaching. When I was 16, which was back in the late 1980s, I started working as an assistant swim coach, which is where I developed a real love for sports coaching and athletic conditioning. At school, I ran track and cross country and competed as a distance swimmer. In 1986, I finished my first triathlon and went on to complete over 300 triathlons, open water swims, criterium bike races, and dozens of 5K, 10K, and half marathon races. My best time for 10Ks is 32 minutes and four seconds, and my best half marathon time is one hour and 12 minutes. I don't compete a lot today, but I still run and swim every week. I've been involved in stretching, flexibility and sports injury management since the early 1990s. I've coached elite level and world champion athletes from sports as diverse as triathlon, roller skating, squash, motorcycle racing and baseball. I've written five books on stretching and sports injury management, including The Stretching Handbook, The Anatomy of Stretching and The Anatomy of Sports Injuries. Amazon has listed my books at the top of five of their bestseller lists. My stretching and sports injury articles have been published in numerous health and fitness magazines and extensively online at sites like about.com, bodybuilding.com and athletes.com. Magazines such as Runner's World, Bicycling, Triathlete, Swimming and Fitness and Triathlon Sports have all featured my work. Google cites over 100,000 references to me and my work on the internet. And I've got satisfied customers from 42 countries that have sent hundreds of personal testimonials about how I've helped them. Here are just a few, but if you'd like to see more, you can visit our testimonials page at our website. This one's from Tom in Alaska. Your information has made a huge difference in my personal fitness level. I'm 61 and I still play in three basketball leagues and found that I was having regular leg injuries. Once I started receiving your information and applying it, the injuries have stopped. And this one from Geraldine in Ireland. Just wanted to say a big thanks. I had almost given up hope of ever being able to run again. Now I'm back running three days a week. Thanks a million. And this one from Devon. I'm a distance runner and have been running since 1967. 
Your products have changed the way I warm up, the length of time spent warming up, and especially the length of time holding each stretch. The last few years it seems that whenever running a race of 10 miles or longer, my calves and shins were especially sore and tight, to the extent I could not run for several days. In fact, my last 10 mile race left me in such pain I was unable to run for over two weeks. After changing my habits, according to your materials, I ran a half marathon in 125.47 at altitude and had none of the post-race pain I experienced earlier when racing at this distance. And this one from Robert in Canada. I have now worked your material into my weekly program. I have noticed a great difference in the past week or so and members of our running team say I look much stronger. I believe your routine has set me on the right track and has helped me push through my workouts much harder and with faster recuperation time than I've been able to do before. Thanks for all the work your team put into it. So, what do you get when you purchase the seven step system? Firstly, you'll get all 47 pages of the seven step system mailed to you in hard copy format. So you've got the full treatment process at your fingertips. Plus, you'll also get instant access to the ebook version. This is a downloadable PDF of the complete treatment manual, so you don't waste any time waiting for the hard copy to arrive in the mail. Plus, order right now and I'll throw in three special bonus products worth over $150. You'll get the Secrets to Successful Back Stretching, which is a one hour MP3 audio, Secrets for Muscle and Joint Freedom, a 15 minute MP3 audio, and the Stretching and Flexibility Report, which is a 65 page PDF. And I'll take $20 off the regular price of $67, so you'll get the hard copy version, plus the ebook version, and all three bonuses for only $47. Now, just so I've covered all the bases and to make sure you're 100% happy, you can use the seven step system and all the bonus products for 90 days. And if for any reason you're not completely satisfied, I'll give you your money back, no questions asked. Seriously, if my seven step system doesn't do everything I've promised it will, let me know and I'll call you on the phone and consult with you personally to find out why your shins aren't getting better and give you customized advice on what you need to do to fix the problem once and for all. And you won't pay a cent. So there you go. You've got a proven seven step treatment system to fix your shin splints once and for all and get you back to pain free running quickly and safely. So go ahead and click on the add to cart button below and get started on your shin splint recovery in the next few minutes. Now remember, if you order today you'll get the hard copy version of the 7 step system mailed to you, plus the ebook version which you can access immediately, and the 3 bonus products, and the 100% satisfaction guarantee, all for only $47. Now. Let me ask you one more question. How will tomorrow be any different than today? Seriously, if you don't do something right now to fix your shin splints, they won't magically get better all by themselves. And if you think that just time and rest will fix them, you're wrong. Actually, one of the worst things you can do is nothing. The fact is, shin splints won't get better all by themselves. Ask anyone who has had a problem with their shins for more than a few months. You need to take responsibility for your own recovery and do something about it now. So go ahead and click on the Add to Cart button below before they get any worse and get started on your shin splints recovery in the next few minutes.